Got me a new body now and it's a new dick. No little wood trying to stick me like a toothpick. Legs and hips and body, body. Do, do, do. Let's eat it, Body, body. <laughs> Like, no funny business or nothing like that. Fuck. But I'm really trying to make this quick for you guys. I know you just kind of want to get in, get out, what's going on at Meshki, yada, yada, yada. But, like, here's a little backstory. Number one, this is probably my most expensive haul ever. Ever. My total? 7 Who cares about the change? 700 It is on Afterpay, though. 100% no, 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 it's on Klarna after it, whichever one. Why would I do something like that, you might ask? Girl. <laughs> I didn't even think about it. I literally was just like, confirm order after pay. Confirm <laughs> order after pay. And the real reason was because, like, don't tell the buddy. <laughs> but I don't know if I'm gonna make this title of the video or not. So it's funny to me now because I'm laughing about it. But I really thought I was pregnant. I. <laughs> This is my last time ever looking cute for the rest of my life. Like, go big or go home. That's irrational. I would 100% I'm not co-signing it. I'm telling you what happened. And then I literally was just like, you need new clothes. You could also be pregnant. So maybe just get everything you want. <laughs> so that's what I did. And also, I thought I was shopping in Canadian Dwellers. I don't know how it happened that it was USC, but it was. And then I got to the checkout. And I was like, I've already taken stuff out. It's not fair to me that I should take more stuff out. So that's what we have today. Also, note that Meshki is a more expensive online store, fast fashion store. So the quality is supposed to be there. So that's what we're supposed to be paying for. So that's what we're going to find out today. Also, I'm watching Love Island right now. And all the girls look good. And it's, it's getting in my head that I'm like, I could walk around and look like India potentially every day of my life. Why am I looking rough and tough? and <laughs> not buff like i'm so confused yeah so let's get into my emotional response shopping my retail therapy of sorts oh also my total did include duties and i will put the prices for the items as i bought them because there was some sort of like percentage off it wasn't much but there was a percentage off i'll put the prices in the video just so you have an idea of how much i spent and i'm gonna try and separate this haul into like four sections so we have swim we have some skirt sets which are just pieces that i put together with two skirts some jeans and some dresses so i figured that would be a nice way to kind of separate everything so you know what you're gonna get then i can put the timestamps down below as to when those sections begin so that you can get into the pieces and the things that you want to see without having to wait around okay so without any more talking from me let's get into today's video before we do please be sure that you're subscribed scroll down hit the subscribe button join the night g gang 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 and let's get into this video not gonna lie when i got my order yesterday i tested stuff i'm just a type of person when i get something delivered i need to check it now i need to know that i got everything that i ordered i need to know like what i'm going into this haul with like i touched the um just the uh what is this is called i just touched the bikini bottoms like I was like, I just want to know, like, what mind state am I going into this haul with? Because I have stopped doing first impressions. Like, we don't need to do that anymore on my channel. I've been there, done that. I think now we're at the point where we just can review the things that we've spent the money on. Because who cares about first impressions if, <laughs> if I'm going to be miserable all the time I'm filming it? Why I checked this one specifically was because this is the only bathing suit bottom I got in large. If you've watched any of my other swimsuit hauls, I always size down for bathing suits because I'm really like a malarge. I'm someone that fits in medium for some things. I just like the fit of a large on my body better. Um, so, But for swim, swim is one of those things that I could maybe even squeeze in a small if I wanted to, just because who cares. Also, this setup is inspired by Miss Aaliyah's face. And I know that she's in the past gotten like demonetized or her videos gotten removed from YouTube just because of like an ass cheek or something ridiculous so because i don't want that to happen to me um if there's anything that you guys feel like is not clear i apologize in advance just because i'm trying and i want you to see the other garments from the back but you don't need to see my back okay <laughs> this top is the luca rouge bikini top in medium this is the ivana thong bikini in large i like the color as someone who has like, I don't, I don't have a fupa fine, but <laughs> as someone who has like kind of like a tummy that protrudes, 
is that I need it to curve in a way that complements this because otherwise I feel like it's just unflattering. The only thing that I run into with a lot of bathing suits and I've had this, not issue, but I have noticed this with pretty little things bathing suits as well, is that if you have this little thing or if you even have any kind of shape that's not cardboard, it rolls. And that's just clothing in general, but I'm just giving you guys all the things that I notice. I love the cleavage, quite obsessed with that. I don't feel like I get enough cleavage because my boobs, they're not small, but I don't have enough tops that give me great cleavage and this gives really good cleavage. I'm not crazy about the back of this top. It's not bad, but it's kind of like high in a weird way. Like I get it, it's small, but, and I and I also understand not wanting to have multiple loops because I hate the way that looks as well. Comfortable with the fact that it's skimpy and I haven't had to wear a bathing suit in years. So maybe that's what I just have to get used to. I don't feel like it looks bad. I feel like I'm just uncomfortable. I like the straps are adjustable. Like I said, my only issue with this is probably that it like sinks into a back roll. That's just my own insecurity that I need to get over. But I, I agree that I wouldn't want like all these extra hooks. Like I don't feel like that's flattering either, but the cleavage is like A1. Like, gosh, <laughs> I am distracted. I'm not even looking at the camera. I'm looking at my boobies. But yeah, I could have probably gotten the top in a large, but I don't regret this cleavage at all. Next swimsuit. Uh, just something to note before I get into this black bathing suit, it actually does have the extra like sizable clasps. I just can't get this thing out. So I had put it over my head, but yeah, it's there. You can put one, two or three. So now we know. Let's get into this black bathing suit. I'm probably not gonna talk as much about the rest of them. That was the first one out of the gate. We were excited. This one I'm obsessed with though. Don't get it twisted. First of all, any bathing suit bottom, especially again, back to this whole tummy thing, I find that anything that is a string bathing suit from front to back rather than like a bikini or a panty, it just looks better on us. If you are built like me, I, I don't feel like that confident in my stomach at all times, especially right now, it's nine o'clock at night, almost 9.30 at night, I've eaten for the day. I'm not feeling my best. <laughs> I've eaten some food, some carbs, whatever. My stomach is an area that I'm insecure about. So for me, I feel fine standing out in less clothes. How does that make sense? But it's just, it just flatters better, I think. This top is everything, it's so cute. Um, Something to know, nothing I purchased today came in a set, which is probably what ran up the order. You know when you order on Sheen, you're used to getting like all three pieces for the low, low price of $9.99? That's not what Meshki's on, guys. <laughs> Meshki is, here's piece one, hunt for piece two. But I'm obsessed with this. I think it's cute and it's perfect for vacation. I think my body looks great in it. it you know what it is about the string bathing suits or anything that has string like this? You're like compared to the last one we just tried on, you don't feel as constricted and like sausage. Like if you're someone like me who's insecure about like your weight, like I find that a lot of times having things that kind of cuts into like your meat is what makes you feel more insecure. That's just me. Again, I'm just talking out loud. But something like this that's like loose, again, medium, don't let's not get into the mathematics of fit and style and cut and whatever. But again, this top and bottom is medium. How this bottom fit me better than that bottom that's large. I don't know, okay? I don't know, I wish I knew, but this is exactly why I, I shop the way that I shop. Happy with this. Next bathing suit. Oh, God, this is hot. I don't know about y'all, but I'm a bit bougie when it comes to clothes, so I love when places put their tags in places you know. No one could have worn this with this tag in the front. So, appreciate y'all. This outfit, number one, skirt, cover up, cannot go over hips. Your girl got hips. Legs and hips and body, body. Do, do, do. This skinny girl, body, body. If you have hips, this cannot go up like how you would think you want to put it on. I just put it on over my head. There is an elastic band in here that. There is an elastic band in here that does not permit hips. 
So I did one shoulder, contorted that other shoulder, contorted that like I was at Electric Circus back in 1999. But I'm obsessed with this. I knew what I was doing when I picked this. I knew that this, I couldn't sacrifice. The other two were necessity. The other two were, when you go on vacation, you need bathing suits. This is, you wanted this. You, baby girl, you want this because you know she, she don't wear green. She gonna do it every time. She, and she go, oh, I love this. So this bathing suit bottom, I think is a cheeky cut bikini. It's in medium. I can't see what my butt is in, but it is pretty cheeky. So it's not a thong like the brown one, but remember I got the thong in large and this in medium. So again, if you're my size, that's something that you could interchange. If you don't necessarily want a thong, go size up. These are tips of the trade because it literally fit like a cheeky. I wish I got it a size smaller so it could have been a thong like I wanted it to be, but it's not bad. I'm not mad at a cheeky um, because I got one of these. The color, everything. Obviously this tan, gonna be a nightmare, but the aesthetic, the outfit, everything, babes. And tell me, I don't look like I'm on Love Island. Welcome to the villa. Natalie, she's a 29 year old tax analyst from Ottawa. This was a very good choice. I'm kind of like butchering how I just threw it on, but sexy, my sexy. Yes, yes. yes. This is cute. Um, it's gonna take me a while to take this off, so y'all can leave now. Medium, bikini bottom, medium. Like I said, this is a large. If you are larger than me, you're gonna have to figure out the sizing of this skirt because again, I had to put this over my head. The reality is that the fact that this is a large is a bit meshy, come on. Just dipping my toes into the fact that in the concept that I could be a medium in life and then I went on meshy say and I was like, them girls look small. Like every model that was modeling a large, I was like, a large? I'm just saying, do your homework. When you're picking your sizing, if you're gonna shop at Meshki, do your homework. So that's all I have for swim. Let's get into two-piece sets. All right, next we have two two-piece sets. These did not come this way. Um, like I said, Meshki is all about serving you individual pieces that you match to get the also. Very fond of my under boob in this. Like, you get a pretty good flash. <laughs> like, that's pretty good, but like really good coverage. Um, I also find that it fits really, really well. I love that this is actually like knit. So here's, I'm talking a lot this haul. This might be very long. I'm sorry, I have a lot to say. Yeah, I spent a little bit more money, but guys, are you seeing this garment? Are you seeing the color? This is knit. This looks exquisite. This with a pair of heels. Outfit done. This is a cute little boat party outfit. This is dinner. This is everything to me. I was really scared about how I was gonna feel in it, like I was scared I wasn't gonna feel flattered in it. And I feel very flattered and comfortable in it, even though there's a lot of skin out. There's a, there's a lot, you could do this. There's a lot of skin out. I'm actually like really comfortable in it. And I like the way that it looks. I like that it looks like, I hate that we're chasing like Instagram aesthetic and like it girl aesthetic, but like that's literally what drives me is to be an it girl. I saw the pictures from the BET Awards and I'm like, no, these are the it girls of the generation. Like I can just see myself like in there. Literally <laughs> just stick me in there. So you gotta walk it like a target. I'm not trying to go broke and place a mesh key order every month or nothing like that. But I'm saying if I can have key pieces where I'm like, when I have to be somewhere, I can show up and look nice. That is what, it serves its purpose. Done, happy with it, amazed. It looks so cute. Oh my god, nails. Say, I talked a lot. Next outfit. Her. This skirt definitely calls for shorts. I wish it was a squirt. It is not. Guys, she can't go on the road like this. This is the opposite of what I just said. I actually can't up and over in this, but I knew that when I purchased it because the cut on the bumper was telling me, buy it, buy it, buy it, buy it. The model's bumpers were like telling me, they were like, they were singing to me. I was like, I need to look like that. On the hunt for shorts that match this, which I feel like shouldn't be that hard to find, but a necessity in order to wear this outside. 
the reason why I bought this, if you're wondering, if you don't think it's a vibe, is one, it's not a dress, this is literally a tube top. So really hot fucking fire color for a tube top, in my opinion. Um, love tube tops, feel like I don't have enough tube tops. So love that, and then this skirt, this pleated wrap skirt. Anytime I get a pleated skirt, I feel like they're too low and they don't flatter. Um, they end up making me look like a house in a weird way. Like it's just not, it's giving Wiccan and witch. Uh, but it's not really what I was going for when I was running out of those times. So anyways, with this, I was like, one, it's a fun color. Two, the cut is literally like what I wanted my high school experience to be, thought and bopping. They got rid of kilts for us, so I never got to experience that. But literally like, too choo boo, too choo, too choo boo, too choo. Yeah, the tube top is way longer than I thought it was gonna be. I thought this was just gonna be a little short fabric or something. It actually tucks in. Like, it's that long, like it's here. Long tube top. Also, the reason why I selected this, it had a sick blazer in this color. It was like a crop blazer. The reason why I took that out of my cart was because the reality is I know I'm not gonna wear that for long. That is the type of piece that I literally will wear <laughs> once for the look and never wear again. Whereas this skirt could be the same thing, but you can't have two things you know you're not gonna wear forever. <laughs> you can't buy, you can't go into buying things with that, with that mindset. It just doesn't even make sense. But again, because this is for summer and for vacation, I felt like the skirt was perfect for like, especially when you're on a resort and they're like, you can't wear your bathing suit to the buffet. This is the perfect thing to kind of store in your bag. And like literally like this outfit, Throw, take off your bathing. You don't have to go up to your room. You take off your bathing suit top. You put this over. You take. You put. Keep your bathing suit bottoms underneath, or take them off if you want to. And you literally have a quick outfit that required not going to your room across the villa is what I want to say for the hotel. In regards to like Caravana, which is also on my mind, I feel like this would be great for any night party. If this was a bikini top, it would be even hotter, but it's not. So I'll probably like play with this. So it looks more uh, banner appropriate, but I still think it does because it's giving. You know, Dance Hall Queen? Oh my god, this is my garbage. In Dance Hall Queen, when Olivine's like on the floor and she's just like looking at Masia across the club, and she's, that's, that's what this outfit is to me. <laughs> so, and I have a bag that matches this. Hold on. This was all the way thought out. <laughs> this was all the way like, I bought this bag from Shein last year. I haven't been able to wear it once. I think I've used 90% of my bags over there. If not 99% and this is the 1%. And I'm like, why get rid of the bag when you could just buy an outfit that matches the bag? It's my logic anyways. So this is cute. I don't think I have much else to say about this. Let's move on to dresses. Da, da, I, reality TV on my brain. That was so RuPaul. Do you ever put on clothes or a garment and like the first thing that comes into your mind is, God, I love being an adult. You, I haven't even looked in the mirror yet, guys. But in my mind, this is how 10 year old me saw adult me. See, I can't even, I don't even remember how much this was, but I feel the money in it. I feel every expense. This is thick. This is knit. <laughs> this is texture. This is fabric. <laughs> I can't tell you guys like how much she was stressing me after my last haul because first of all, I got flack on fucking Instagram. I got flack on Instagram. People were telling me not to shop from them. And they were like, it's not ethical, which is fair. But in today's economy, don't get on me about ethics when there's so much other things. Like it, it just pisses me off. But anyways, and then on top of it to get the garments and them not even be like, I don't want to say that they're made, they're not made well. Again, my biggest thing is the fabrics. The garments themselves were made how I expected a $6 garment to be made. That is not the issue. The issue is, is what I thought I was buying, which is what I got. Fabric quality wise was not the same thing. So to me, touching all this stuff that feels so, so good and looks so good, I'm happy as hell. When I saw this on the model in the picture, I thought that this might be 
nude or like mesh and I was worried about that because I was like oh god I'm gonna have to find paste these panties but no it's actually really smartly made and it's just a different type of green that gives that effect of like nudity it's not it's literally just two strips of green I love this this is great and it's so comfortable oh my gosh this is like the cookout but like closer to the end of summer where it starts getting a little cooler. Jean jacket, oh my gosh, I wish you guys could feel this. I wish you could feel this. Like to me, now it's making sense why this could potentially be $80. I don't think it is. And I'm like, yeah, I get it. If I had seen that price, would I have made this decision? Maybe not. But I feel like this is what my wardrobe was missing out on. Especially something like this, like for work. I think I might do oh my gosh, look at my gnash. Look at my butt. Holy cow. This is like a mental. You would fuck me, you fuck the old buddy. You would fuck Nat, you fuck Natalie, buddy. <laughs> Ain't no miles on this here, new buddy. Off with the hills, these bitches is nobody. Got me a new body, now I need some new dick. No little wood trying to stick me like a toothpick. Got me a new body, now I need some new dick. I for shot, those are colors for shoe fits. Cookie gave me me to go. Cookie come with the other. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. Let me get out of this dress. I'm gonna start problems in this dress. One more dress and then we'll get into jeans, I promise. Let's put this dress on. My first thought was it's giving auntie. But it's actually not bad. I think the only thing issue is like the neckline and maybe the split. Like this is definitely giving auntie. Even the last dress, like I said, it's me as an adult in my mind. It was my rich auntie, but I'm fine with it because I need to learn that every event calls for a mini dress or mini skirt. So you know what? Seckle, by one thing at a time. This is cute. I like the back. That was part of the reason why I bought it was because I'm like, it hides the parts of my back that I don't love yet <laughs> and I'm learning to love. And it extends the parts of my back and my collarbone that I do love. So, oh yeah, now it's better enough. <laughs> Once you pull it down and you expose more processes, it looks better. <laughs> it does. Dumpa is dumping. Backpack booty in progress. And I like the split. I was just filming a TikTok in these outfits. That last dress nearly suffocated me to death. It's hot. These knit fabrics are actually like carrying weight. They're warm, they're warm. So if you are worried about, again, quality guys, you're getting what you pay for, I see it. Also, there was a bug on my floor. I'm ashamed to say that, but like this is coming from Australia. Y'all know <laughs> there could have been a snake in here. So I'm just letting you know that there were no bugs in my room all day. I'm going through the package now. Why was there a bug that I couldn't identify? I couldn't tell if it was a spider or a fly. That's definitely from Australia. It lived in the bag for seven days. Don't ask me about how that worked, but it happened. So anyways, back to this dress. Love the color, love the make. Best part of both these dresses. The last one specifically is a bit more dressy than this one, but this one for sure you could wear as a cover up. The same idea as the orange skirt, tuck it in a bag at a beach when you're going to the beach or you're on a resort, something easy to throw over stuff where you can look nice, no problems. It's a bit warm to me for the tropics, but again, realizing that the it girls, they invest in quality. I'm not saying mesh key is like the best of the best. I'm just saying you guys aren't probably see to you on camera. It just looks like I'm wearing a nice dress. I feel like when I see Lori Harvey, Ryan Destiny, and Jordan Woods go on vacation, you look at their garments and you know it's not Shein. <laughs> and that's not me slandering people that shop at Shein. I'm just saying I'm tired of being photographed and not looking the way I feel. I want to feel great in the clothes that I'm wearing. And the clothes that I pay for either way, people acting like Shein's like damn cheap. The amount that I buy from Shein is not cheap. I'm just saying, spend an extra couple hundred dollars and you can look like this. But you can tell I'm not, like I'm a large, but I'm not a large. This is what I'm talking about when I say I'm in between because I have a lot of extra fabric here it's in here. It's not the worst thing, even that green dress, that probably would look great and much better sized down. But those are things that like I'm willing to run the risk. But again, those are both dresses. So maybe I can size down the dresses that are of stretchy material at my shiki just because, just to avoid the extra fabric and so that things kind of fit a bit more snug and 
cut me <laughs> the right way. Good to know. I like this. I don't think I have anything else to say about this. Let's get into denim. I wish you guys could have heard my audible reaction to when I took this bodysuit out of the packaging. This is not cheap. You can, I, as soon as I touched it, I was like, ooh, like I gasped. I screamed because the way this feels and is so thick and nice and comfy, no, it's not a bodysuit. It's not a bodysuit. And <laughs> these jeans. So I bought the jeans and the jean shorts that you're going to see me try on in size their size 12 which is an eight so a size technically down for me bit tight bit snug however that tells me that a 10 our size or a 14 would have been much too big but i still think they fit great i'm comfortable i can see them i think my butt looks good which is always a positive and i'm not opposed to being a little tight here because you know what that does compression compresses it <laughs> look to me i'm not mad about that at all the shorts fit similarly so i don't think i'm going to talk about them i think if anything i'll insert a video of me wearing them in here right now just because same situation um very happy with these and actually gotta buy more mesh key denim if i'm being honest i could have probably gone down a size in the bodysuit i'm wearing the shorts now <laughs> um but just really quickly wanted to come out and show you and talk to you Interestingly, also, the shorts say 10 in them. So it's like they sent me this wrong size, but they fit. So maybe they know the garments well enough to be like, oh, those ones you send aside down, they're marked incorrectly, whatever. Because I'm like, I picked it up, so I was like, 10? 10? 10? My order confirmation says 12. So what happened there? But I, fits. These are literally, they're called boyfriend shorts, but should we change the name to mom shorts? I'm digging it. I'm digging it. I know, guys. I know what you're thinking. Very mature. Very mature uh, middle-aged woman on vacation with her family in Italy. I know. I know. However, it can get real sexy real quick. <laughs> and imagine this with like my black bikini underneath. For me, this was mainly, I have sexy hot girl shorts. This is giving me comfort and protection, not love and affection. Call it what you like, but just call me on my side because never answer what is private. So, but anyways, love these. And you know that once you wash jeans that have a raw hem, they just look better. They get all fluffy and cute. So I appreciate that they didn't try to like distress the shit out of these shorts, you know? We've been thinking Fashion Nova has like a monopoly in denim, but like, this is like denim, guys. Like denim, 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 like thick, has hold all of that and on top of it i don't know if i showed you the style already but it's a split hem so it's super cute i'm probably gonna wear these to work tomorrow don't judge me i love them and i think i look so good in them they give me shape they fit well what else can i say body suits great jeans are great i feel mad at myself for not trying mesh key sooner. Like at this rate, at the rate that I've thrown away jeans from Fashion Nova or had jeans come defective, busted zipper within a month. Same thing with bodysuits, defective. <sighs> she had stuff don't fit, right? To me, that's a waste. Whereas, okay, we spend a little more money today, but the thought is that these things last a bit longer. I've had no issues, everything fits. I'm happy. Leave me alone. <laughs> I can't argue with you. You mad. You big mad. So, so thank you guys so much for watching today's Meshki haul. If you did like it, please give a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you've ever shopped at Meshki before. Any other online stores you want to put me on to, leave that in the comments down below. And as always, subscribe to me. You pay my bills, right? Again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.